Hello, this is Mr. Kent of MrKent.com and in my last video review of this RC Geek uh, airdrop that fits onto your Mavic 2 and uh, will uh, can, you can drop things from the air onto the ground and uh, I won't go out into all the details but I wanted to be able to hook onto something on a roof and then uh, get it off the roof but I also wanted a quick release, which is why I bought this, so that if the hook got caught under a tile on the roof, then I would, uh, I would be able to release the, the hook and keep my Mavic. I didn't want my Mavic dying on top of a roof. So I bought this, and uh, this is, the, this is the, uh, the mechanism. And I'll put links to my other reviews so that you can look at them, because each time I thought I had it figured out. And uh, it just didn't, it, it would always fail. What would happen is uh, this, this connects to the uh, headlights, the red lights on the front legs of the drone. This connects to those. And then when the lights are on, I can't remember it's one of the way or the other. When the lights are on, this is closed. When the lights are off, that's open. Excuse me. And then, of course, you control it with your, with your settings um, in the, in the, uh, in the uh, app. All right, so now, what I did, originally I couldn't get this thing to work because it was like it would jam when I would hook things to it. And, I, and uh, you know, they send you a piece of string and uh, so I tried, it, it, their string was made, was cotton and cotton binds on stuff. So then I, I bought, uh, or I bought, I uh, used some of my uh, uh, nylon string, okay, to loop around that thing. Let me show you how it works because I can do it without having the drone connected. We'll just turn it on. Now, when I turn it on, uh, we'll just see what it does here. Okay, now that's, it's the, the, the sensor, which is right here, so I just, I just turned off the light. Okay, so the sensor picks up those lights, and the sensor works great. If I, if the, the lights are on now, so if I turn the lights off, then it closes. If I turn the lights on, it opens, okay? The only thing is, it would jam, it would jam closed it would jam in that position. So I tried all kinds of things. And if you look at those videos, you'll see um, nothing, nothing. I, when it when came right down to it, I couldn't depend on this thing opening up. Uh, so I decided, okay, <laughs> uh, you know, I kept trying everything. I, uh, I won't go into the details. Watch the other videos. And, but one of the things that I did, let's see if we can get everything out of the way here. One of the things that I did was I replaced the little rubber or plastic uh, thing that the string was supposed to run through. It comes down this side. I replaced it with uh, a, a ring because uh, the string was actually binding up on, the, on these things. So I replaced that with a ring. Of course, you have to solder and all that kind of stuff. So uh, that, you know, that, uh, uh, <laughs> that helped a little bit because then it wouldn't jam there. All right. I'm going to turn this thing off. And we'll put it on the drone. All right, just turn that off. Okay. And of course, it's it it, it snaps on, and it, it won't come off by accident. It snaps on really well. Let me see if I got everything where it belongs there. Okay. So there. Now it's going to stay right there. All right. But uh, where's my sensor at? Get it over here. Oh, I turned it off. <laughs> Never mind. We'll turn it on again. All right. So now. Uh, the the sensor uh, was working as you can see from here there's not a problem with the sensor and with the lights but uh, I just couldn't get that thing I couldn't get it to open up so I tried all different things and what I came up with besides putting this little loop in here I came up with a little uh, wire loop that will fit over here now what what you do is you stick this over here like that and then close it okay and then raise this back up so it's just coming over the um, just over the the rod all right and and of course I forgot let me uh, let me run it through here it's supposed to run through here like so see the thing is if you buy this thing and you can't solder stuff up and uh, do do these kind of things uh, it's worthless so let me get, now let me close it now, okay? <clears throat> oh, wait a minute. Yeah, that's right. All right, so now we flip this over there. And now, 
uh, when you take off, it's hanging on that, okay? Now before, when I would release this thing, the string would bind and everything else would go wrong. I mean, I just, it look, I'd have to hit the switch about three or four times, and you can see in one of my videos that it just, it just hung there and hung there. But now, I'll put, I can put a lot of pressure or just a little bit of pressure. When I let up on that thing, it goes that fast, that easy, and it goes on through the hole. So, we'll turn this off because he's working his heart out. So, uh, final decision. <coughs> you have to have some metal around this thing instead of string. And, uh, and metal doesn't have any binding effect and it just pops right off. Uh, and uh, that, that's one of the things. But what happens is the string, if I can get it here, the string has enough binding effect that, it, that this servo was too weak to pull that back. But the metal uh, doesn't have any binding effect, so the servo is free to just pull itself back. The problem was is the, the servo is too weak for putting any weight on that unless you use a metal clip of some kind. And you can make your own clip of anything, but uh, anyway, that's how I solved it, and, it and it works now just like it was supposed to when I ordered it. But it took a long time and about two weeks of experimenting until I finally came up with that solution. So <clears throat> that's the RC Geek Airdrop, and uh, it, <laughs> I, wouldn't ex I wouldn't advise getting one if you don't have all the little tools that I showed you the things I did. But if you have those tools and make a, make a little metal loop, uh, then it'll work. Of course, if you make this loop, you've got to make a loop like that because this won't go th through their little plastic, black plastic things. All right. That's enough of that. I'm all through reviewing this thing. Uh, it's not a bad product. You just have to fool with it until you get it right. And by the way, I put this all back like it was uh, when I got it because the problem wasn't th where this thing was located. It was the binding effect. And also, I put graphite on there. All right, that's enough. Thank you for watching, and God bless.